Hey, how you doing? Hey, recording. Now share. Can you both see the? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the guidelines. Yep. Excellent. Perfect. So basically, Napoleon Hill. In his influential book, uh, Think and Grow Rich, introduced the concept of a mastermind group. A mastermind group is a collaborative network or network of like-minded individuals who come together to support and empower each other to achieve their goals and aspirations. Uh, Hill empathizes that the collective wisdom, experience, and creativity of the group can generate a synergistic effect leading to greater, uh, greater success and personal growth of each member. In essence, a mastermind group harnesses the power of teamwork and shares uh, and shared knowledge to help individuals attain their dreams and aspirations. That's why we did it. I don't know if what Santa knows, I think Brando, Brando does. Uh, these guidance, guidelines and rules of accountability group, I got them after having a conversation uh, on the phone with Mike Ferry, in which he gave me the, the basics of what an accountability group should have. Yeah. Based on that conversation I have with him, I came up with this list. All right. So yeah. basically, the guidelines or rules of accountability group are the following. Okay. Mastermind group meetings are every Wednesday from 12.30 to 1 p.m. by Zoom. The presenter will have 15 minutes time by the moderator to present uh, one of the MFO training topics with absolutely no interruptions. The final 15 minutes will be an open floor to the uh, to discuss the subject in hand and input uh, uh, Add inputs, ask, add questions, determine the theme for the next meeting, and discuss uh, situations or successes we encounter during the, the week if needed. All right? Yes. Uh, let me see. The idea is, is to, to do the presentations about the training subjects, not about some other things. And once we finish with all the subjects, then we can add our own subjects as a group. All right? Yeah. yeah. Our mastermind meeting will always start at 12.30 p.m. and end at 1 p.m. This is our once a week mastermind time and absolutely nothing should be more important to our personal and professional development. So plan your schedule accordingly and around it. Okay. That means just separate uh, your schedule every Wednesday from 12 to 1 p.m. From 12 to get ready to the meeting, uh, at 12.30 to have the meeting, and it's just once a week. It's not a big deal. Yeah. All right? When it is your, it's not a big deal in our schedule, I mean. Because there's mm. always people saying, no, I have a show in uh, 12.30. Okay, just move it, move it a half hour after. You know, it's, it's not very difficult. Mm -hmm. So 
when it's your time to present, make sure you practice your presentation prior to the meeting to ensure you don't run out of time uh, of this 15 minutes ma uh, max limit. Any handouts for the presentation need to be shared with the group at least 24 hours in advance. Positive reinforcement, questions, and feedback are welcome as long as you do it during the open uh, floor time, the last 15 minutes of our meeting. The first 15 minutes belong to the presenter. So to be respectful, respectful to the presenter, what we do is to take notes on everything he's talking about, and then we can uh, come back and talk about it, all right? And the idea of sharing the material at least one day before is so everybody else can read it and add their own and make their own notes on the subject, all right? Active participation is required. Remember, we are here to grow as a group. Honesty and active participation are crucial to the success of this mastermind. It is important to notify the group of planned vacations or unexpected events that prevent you from participating in the meeting or the everyday required activity goals. So the idea, if we have an emergency, okay, it's an emergency, but uh, try to not make it something that is gonna happen in every single meeting that we have. Negativity will not be allowed. We are here to develop to develop to develop a positive mindset. All opinions will be respected. Professionalism is vital to the success of our meeting. It is important to avoid distracting uh, comments that could take us away from our valuable time. We are all committed to each other's success. Potential new members need to be proposed and voted uh, in the next meeting. So we need one more and probably two more uh, okay. after this week. So if you have anyone that you think that is in, in coaching uh, or or might follow these rules, just show, show it to okay, and see if they agree. And knowing that if they don't agree, they're going to be kicked out of the of the group. And if they agree, you know, we can vote them in. Sounds okay. good. Perfect. Uh, our communication through our WhatsApp group has to be business oriented. Remember, distractions can be a uh, distraction between 8 and 12 p.m. could be very detrimental to our success and will not be allowed. You're allowed to send messages during prospecting uh, time uh, from 8 to 12. Only if you want to share your success, motivating others by sharing a quick text like a first appointment set and pre-qualified or listing taken. In this case, you must also share a short audio explaining how and why you think uh, you got it or not. Uh, so other members of the group can learn from your own experience and share theirs with you. No cooperation equals no motivation. I'm pretty sure that you both have I heard this from Mike Ferry. Yes. A member of the group is not participating, doing his her part every single day during the course of a week. The moderator uh, will have to notify her him every first and second time. And the third time uh, uh, will be asked to comply with the rules and activities or to leave the group in case that for any reason he or she thinks he or she are not going to be able to do it. And the other members will set up a meeting to propose and vote for a replacement. Yeah. Sounds good? Sounds yes. good. Perfect. Ideal group's daily schedule recap. Number one, before 8 a.m., we must share our goals for the day and morning schedule, a, a motivational big a picture, a motivational quote, a motivational video, but nothing like 40 minutes long. You know, nobody's going to see it. It's just to get some quick motivation because before we start doing prospecting. All right. Number two, after 12 p.m., we must report prospecting numbers, appointment, uh, et cetera. We, uh, we, ha we have uh, right after 12 p.m. After 6 p.m., because then we know that during the day we get to talk with some other people, we might get a last-minute appointment, we might go to an appointment, 
So after 6 p.m., 7, 8, or at the time you finish, just report your prospecting numbers and re the result of your appointments if you have one. Then number four, when we set a buyer's or seller's appointment on the phone, we must share a short audio on why we think we got it. For example, mm -hmm. you did it wrong today. I posted first appointment set and I didn't post a, a, a short uh, audio on why I got it, all right? Just short, just less than a minute saying, you know, uh, I think that I got it because she's in a rush and and she really wants to sell. And I got it and I got the appointment by asking to prepare, uh, asking her if it's going to be good to prepare a package of information with her and give her the chance to see if it's if it's going to be good to work with me, you know, and. Uh, when we get an appointment, when we get a new listing or a new buyer signed, we must share a short audio on why we think we got the listing or the buyer agreement signed, right? This is really important because for the other people, you might be in the same situation in the future, and now you know how other people deal with it. Right. All right. When we don't get the listing or buyer's agreement signed, we must share a short audio on why we didn't get it and what we should have done to have it signed. This is really important too, because it's like, okay, I did what, what I am supposed to do and I didn't get the appointment. Sometimes we, we don't clearly see what was our mistake, right? And then right. the opinion of all the other members of the group is going to help. Hey, Chris, you should, in, in your case, I think you should be uh, doing this or this or that, and I'm going to learn from it too, you know? Mm -hmm. These these rules are a good start to get the ball rolling. Feel free to reply to this. It's not an email, but it's what it's sent. Uh, if you feel that something needs to be added or eliminated, this is your group now and your opinion matters. So if whatever you, whatever idea you have to improve the group, you know, throw it in. It's your group now. You know, so what do you feel? Is something so I can all do, right? Oh, oh, oh sorry, go, go, Santa, go ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. I, I think, I think this is a great um, Christian Brandon because uh, personally, right? You know, I'm working on um my weak my weakness challenge that I'm working on setting up appointment every time. Brandon setting up appointment, I'm so amazed, right? You know how he's doing, and I want to learn. And, and 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 the thing is this when you get an appointment or when you get a listing or when you get a buy sign agreement you put a, putting a posting video uh, that that we can learn each other right you know mm -hmm. okay is, is that will help us and just like christian said we may be in a, such a situation in future or at the same time if we asking or oh, five times closing or whatever right you know the best practice that applied there we can learn, right? Or maybe some words, right? You know, powerful words that you use. So I think it's really good. Thank you so much. How about yep. you, Brandon? Uh, I agree. I mean, I think my biggest thing is not just setting the appointment, but it's like what happens after the appointment is set and why I'm not getting the listing. Like, you know, believe mm -hmm. it or not, guys, I signed a listing agreement for March the 11th. Uh, the seller started talking with a neighbor in the condo building. The neighbor said, oh, I'll make you an offer for all cash, 380000 can close okay. in a month. And I ended up losing that listing because I didn't have an exclusive listing covering me from the time I started to the time the actual listing went on the MLS. Oh. So I got, I got burnt, you know, shame on me, I, le lesson learned, but that was just one of three things that kind of blew up on, on Monday. So it's been a really difficult week. So I think sharing those difficulties as well, not just about getting the appointment, but why didn't I get the appointment um, will help me understand and, and feedback from the group saying, Hey, well, Brennan, you should have done this or you should have done that. That will help me tremendously. Yeah. And, and actually from that situation you had, we can also learn. Right, of course, yeah, you know, yeah, and and then the the group is like you know we just just like Brandon said, 
two years ago, I had the similar situation. I assume because the referral came from uh, one of my past clients and the same street. And I did not know how to put an exclusive listing, exclusive listing agreement to be taken, the script. And I was not strong that time. So, so now if something say renovation or, you know, decluttering or waiting or coming from the vacation, I get the exclusive listing because I learned how to present. So that remind me, Brandon, but the moment you said uh, it can happen because you got the March 15. So there's a vacuum. So they go between between and they can sell that that happens. So that's see that same situation. Sometimes we remind ourselves or helping each other. Right. right? Yeah, you know? Absolutely. And so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to set two calendar reminders in my calendar. Uh, one for 7 a.m., obviously not Eastern Standard Time because I'm just barely getting up, but uh, <laughs> 7 a.m. for me to post my numbers for the day. And then a reminder because, you know, I have ADD, my brain is all over the place, but a reminder on my phone that says, hey, 6 p.m., post your group numbers so it holds me accountable because sometimes I set my attention and then well, what happened today? And I didn't get my goal, right? So reinforcing yes, that number, having to report back will help me be accountable. And that's what this group is all about. We can just set up an alarm every single day, mm -hmm. like 7 a.m. Just set the alarm. Right. My numbers post a, a motivational uh, message. That's all, right. you know, and and the idea is not to feel like we have a compromise that we don't want to get into by being on the group. Right. So it's like, I mean, it, this is really to help us out. Right. You know? Right. So we should be happy to have a group of people in, in, in which we can say, you know what? I went to this appointment and I completely fucked it up. I right. don't know what's going on, guys. Now, Chris, now, Chris, now, now, Christian, see that the the moment we participate in this group, the the thing, that's the thing. One thing that uh, Brandon shared his experience, it goes to our brain, and when we have a situation like that, we never do that again. Uh huh. What to do? I always and remember. We are learning each other. We are learning each other. That's the whole value of this thing. I do have, you know, some good Mike Ferry agents, right, you know, looking for um, this kind of mastermind group. So if they are willing to put their val time and committed, I will ask them to, then you all can, you know, evaluate, right, you know, whether they are suitable to come in. Of course. Of course. That, that's a right way to do stuff. You know, I, I always remember, when I was a kid, I, I heard this story we, from one of my uncles that he yeah. tried to overpass, you know, uh, in an expressway, another uh, another truck, and yes. the car just came in front of him. And he said, you know what? The only thing that occurred to me to do is to put my blinking sign to the left, move to the left, and the other car went through the middle. You know? Oh. He just said that when I was 12 years old. And one day I was 22 years old and I was in the same situation in route. Yeah. And I did exactly the same. And I right. out of that dangerous situation doing exactly the same he did. So this is just the same. It's like, imagine that we share all of our fucked ups with everybody else. <laughs> yes. And we learn from yeah. it. And yeah. we listen to each other say, no, I would do this, this next time, try this and that. We're going to all learn from it. Yeah. You know, and and not just what we what we've been taught, you know, what we learn from Mike Ferry, you know, I internalize that and respond differently than Christian than Wasantha. So with all of that sharing, the knowledge is going to be compounded in different ways to hit us at different times. Right. So it's so valuable. Yeah, it is actually. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask uh, Dante if he okay is ready to start doing what he's got to do every single day if not we're gonna have to find a second new member what happened with Brian Christian Brian just sent me a text saying that he he don't want to okay he don't want to be he wants to be in a group with everybody's uh coaching client but he will, he is supposed to be in coaching in twenty for the last twenty years, and he didn't do 
he didn't comply with the group either. So I right, right, okay. I don't. I I really don't care the, the. I really don't care the part of being like in a religion of the MFO system. Right. You know, it's like no. I just only talk with people that uh, are actively in coaching. I I don't buy that shit because I know a lot of people that are in coaching and don't don't do one simple thing. Right. You know, and I know some other people. Uh, like it's not in coaching and it's doing way more than 50% of the coaching clients. Right. So for me, as long as you do everything, you follow the system, I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, and I think, you know, the tr true top producers coaching or not, they're following a strict schedule, they're disciplined. They they've got, pr you know, productive habits as Mike would say, right. Not, exactly. not non-productive habits. <laughs> yeah. What we should start doing after we, we get these new two members, one yes. or two, I don't know, depends on what happens with, uh, with Dante, uh, is to start putting some money on the table. Okay. It's going to be really good. Okay, yeah. Like if you, every day, if, if we don't reach our, our numbers, 25 bucks right. to, to a joint account or to someone that we're going to spend when we go to the next uh, Mike Ferry event. Oh, I, I like that. A nice steak dinner. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, it, that every single day. And the third day you don't yeah, you don't complain, you know. You as the guideline said, we are gonna be asked to do it or to leave the to start doing it or to leave the group. And I think it's the the, the more fair way to do it. I have uh, that fantastic um, Tony Smith blueprint that Robert shared with me yeah. a few months ago. And Amazing. I should present on that in the next couple of weeks. Like, I would love to share that with you guys. It is so great. Yeah. Oh, I love to hear that, you know, Brandon. So, guys, okay, I have to go. I have to go. Um, so, what's the plan for next week, Christian? Uh, we're going to keep uh, for next week on Wednesday. Robert is presenting about okay. uh, negotiating contracts. Negotiating contract. Okay, After sir. that, I'm going to put a poll on the group to see who's going to present on what, and each of us are, are going to have to uh, to choose uh, any topics from the Mike Ferry uh, system. All right? Okay. 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 Well, it, 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 yeah, and regardless, put me down for next week. I, I'll totally do that, like the week after Robert. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah, I would love to share that with you guys. It, it, like just to reread it, I reread it every now and again, but I'm long overdue and it's so good because Christian's money thing, the reason I thought of that is he put money on the thing and had to pick off the things after a uh, thing. And if he didn't have the appointment, then he had to give all the money away to people in the office. Okay. Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you, thank you, two of you, because I got a steroid injection to go out and prospect. Yes, don't okay, worry. good, good, good luck with Santa. <laughs> Each other, this is this is called synergy, right? You know, giving some steroid, right? Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, okay guys, let's make. Okay, we'll, we'll see you next week, guys. Have see you. Good. Bye. Bye. See you. Get up, get up, get up.